And finally tonight, the lifeline for the endangered Scottish wildcat, a species clinging on by a claw. For the first time, conservationists are preparing to release the wildcats into the Cairngorms National Park. It is a vital first step in trying to re-establish the species in Scotland. But there are risks and also challenges ahead. Our Scotland reporter Louise Scott went to the Highlands to see for herself how the project will work. Don't be fooled by the bright eyes and bushy tails. These are not your standard domestic cat. Wild cats may look similar, but they can be feisty, especially when under threat. Despite once roaming the Scottish Highlands, it's the species itself that is now threatened. Unfortunately, they're on the brink of extinction as a species, so there's too few of them left in the wild to have a self-sustaining population left anymore. Really, without outside help, the species would go extinct. So, for the first time in the UK, wild cats bred here will be released into the wild. Unlike the cats visitors can see, separate enclosures away from the public ensure these cats are ready for the reality of the wild. This is where the wild cats that are set to be released are monitored. Each enclosure has cameras allowing the team to observe their behaviours with minimal human contact. The Scottish Highlands will be their new playground here in the Cairngorm National Park. Specific release sites have been chosen to minimise disruption to other species, but the research doesn't stop there. They're going to be tracking the wildcats using GPS collars. Um, they're going to be monitoring their behaviour through a network of camera traps. Um, and they're also going to be monitoring their diet through scat analysis. Um, so all of this um, research gathered will also go on to inform any uh, future releases too. 20 cats will enter the wild this year. The first of these in just a few weeks' time. There are some nerves. I, I guess I feel a bit like an anxious parent. <laughs> um, I think we all feel that actually because um, the whole team's put a huge amount of effort into, into the, getting to this moment. It's take, taken actually years of work and collaboration um, to get to this point. And it's kittens like these, born to the newly released cats, that could help sustain the wild, wild cat population once again. Louise Scott, ITV News, The Highlands. <laughs> and that is all from us for now.